and welcome back to Aubrey Books and Coffee. Grab your favorite beverage of choice and join me. Today we're going to dive back into that beautiful world of D&D with the Dungeon in a Box unboxing. First, I'm going to give you a quick update on my players. Oh my gosh, it has been so much fun. And if you guys have already been subscribing to these boxes for Voyage of the Fallen Star, beware, there may be some spoilers whenever I talk and unbox. But for my players, it's safe to watch up until this point so you can hear me talking about you and the good times that we just had. So, of course, I we went to the Blazing Isles and there was volcanoes and all kinds of things that they had to confront and they had to fight a magma wolf and it was just, oh my gosh, they did so good. I was so proud of them. But that paled in comparison to they're now over in the giant spur and they're having to climb this thing and they're coming across harpies and flying iguanas and even gray ooze and all kinds of crazy things and crazy weather that's trying to knock them off the you know side of the spur and down and they're just having all kinds of crazy interactions also with the pilgrims that are trying to also climb up this and that are getting on their nerves and it's just been oh you guys it's been hysterical so far it's been so much fun and my players have gotten better and better as they're leveling up they found special weapons and they're actually stretching me as a gm not just the rules because of course i've always been less as good with the rules than the story um, but they're actually challenging me now, even with the story, because one of my players wants to sue Black Rift. Needless to say, that's not actually in the book, so we're going to have to kind of figure it out and see what we're going to do. I said, give me a couple weeks to research this, but nothing's off the table in my you know, home campaign. So I'm going to find a way to make this happen, and I'll keep you updated on how that goes. But regardless, I know you really want to see what's inside the June D, D box so let's open it once again it has minis right there at the top and they do such a wonderful job with these minis um, it looks like we got a warrior beetle I wonder if uh, that's gonna come into play because again sometimes these are just fun minis they send and they don't actually have to do with the story and then it looks like a spore drone it comes in interesting and of course we get our fun packet which will have all kinds of goodies in there and it looks like after we're leaving assuming they survive by the way so the first time in the giant spur that they actually mention in the booklet that there can be an instant death depending on roles and encounters so do beware with your players looks like uh, we're going to be doing some kind of jungle situation and we're going to have to come in contact with a giant beetle. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. I am not a fan of insects, so this may get super gross. And I like to do kind of real worldy things when I can. So like anytime they've encountered the spiders and get caught in the webs, I like to shoot them with silly uh, strings. So it'll be interesting. I may have to find something bug that I can do. Maybe some fake beetles and such. Uh, once again, the maps are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. You guys, never in a million years could I draw something this pretty. There is no possible way. And then the back of it also really cool looks like maybe some armor some rusted armor maybe I should hold this more horizontal might make more sense so yeah we got like some rib cages going on there some pine cones um I feel like somebody didn't survive an encounter here is what this is uh, telling me and for the first time in a while it looks like we got a secondary map so Kind of excited about this looks like more of a forest terrain again so again we've got you know dimensions are going to be a thing because that's a little uh acorn and it looks huge on this map so that's going to be interesting and uh and it looks like we have maybe the base of a tree and a little nest there with an egg so this, this is going to be interesting, especially going from a situation with giants to now these little insects. I like how uh, the company keeps us on our toes. 
And of course, they also always send us those gorgeous minis. And oh my gosh, <laughs> they did not disappoint. We've got uh, beautiful parrots and vines, a gorgeous, what looks like maybe a butterfly or a moth, um, all kinds of, looks like uh, guards and drones. Oh my gosh, these are pretty. These are so pretty. This is gonna be fun, you guys. And then we've got a picture, kind of like all along, we've had the choice of the pirate or Sindrail, and then we had um, a sister, I'm gonna totally blank on her name right now, or the guy at Tide Watch for Giant Spur um, that was good with machines. You could pick either of those two. And so now it looks like there's one for Ohatu Colony, or they'll be able to pick Heart of Gaius. So it's been fun seeing who they pick and why lately. And then of course we have our little envelope that has our little star fragment in there. And then depending on which one they choose, the colony or the Gaius will depend on what they're gonna put on their ship. So we have that one. And it's cracking me up because my players have picked rooms on the ship that they like to be in. And so they're not appreciating these additions because it keeps kind of pushing them out of these little, you know, areas that they call their own little home and bunk. And then of course we get another fragment that goes on the back of the compass. So that's exciting. And then I also always love, along with these gorgeous minis and maps, that they give us the 3D items that we can use. So it looks like we have a ginormous um, lily and some uh, uh, dandelions and some you know daisies and all kinds of things. And then on the back, we've got some beetles. And it looks like it's going to be some assembly required for me. And as always, we get a quality control card. I appreciate that. My box was prepped and checked by a zealous astral reaver this time. I do appreciate that. So that's all I've got for you guys for today. That was a lot of fun. Thanks for unboxing with me and being interested in what's going on with my campaign. Please feel free to comment and let me know how your campaigns are doing and anything that you would recommend, especially in the world of law and suing. Thank you guys. Take care. Thank you.